It's a story we've been covering all week, but a group of neighbors say they've had to deal with dozens of peacocks for more than a decade. On Monday, we showed you all of the birds near Bumby and Chelsea neighborhoods. They say one man is illegally breeding them there, and that's why there's this population. On Tuesday, we learned the city has fined that man more than $50,000 in code violations, but they're not legally allowed to foreclose on his home. Today, Channel Line's Lauren Seabrook went back to that neighborhood where one man says he's now drafting a letter. And Lauren, if he can't get rid of his neighbor, he wants the city to get rid of these birds. Greg, because the birds are really taking over the yards in this neighborhood, just like the one here, we really wanted to bring you a live picture of them. But as soon as the sun comes out from behind the clouds, these birds like to scatter into the trees where it's nice and cool and shady. But we have seen them all over these yards. They've been digging into some of the vegetable gardens. We've seen them up on top of the rooftops. And the neighbors really have just had enough. I heard a... And right by my house. Heidi Skian says her neighborhood. It's a breeding ground for peacocks. Feels more like a zoo. And I'm worried because babies are being hatched on my property. I don't know what to do. And this is a working class neighborhood. The people who live here don't have time for this. <laughs> And for years, they've been complaining about their neighbor raising dozens of peacocks and letting them roam free. We told you yesterday the man owes the city of Orlando nearly $53,000 in code enforcement fines for the structure he's housing the birds in. But because he owns the home outright, the city can't foreclose. We also told City Commissioner Patty Sheehan that peafowl are not allowed to be raised in the city under the backyard chicken ordinance. So she sent another code enforcement officer out last night. But the city told us today that officer did not add more violations. When somebody is trapping and breeding and having pens in their backyard and having food and incubators, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Commissioner Sheehan says the man needs a new roof but can't get a home improvement loan because the city has a 20-year lien on his house. The city offered to remove the lien and forgive the fines if he would clean up the place, but he refused. In the couple of days that you've been involved, uh, finally, there's been some action, but unfortunately, there's, there hasn't been really forceful action. The neighbors are now drafting a letter to the city demanding action. The city told us today it's not allowed to seize the birds, but if the city doesn't do something about them, neighbors plan to sue the city. And hey, in case you were wondering what a group of peacocks is called, we looked it up. It's called a muster. So now you know. Reporting live in Orlando, Lauren Siebert, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.